Today, I'm training with world champions at Quarantine Jiu Jitsu, a competition class that's so intense that the mats get covered in sweat. This is where I get my competition rounds with some of the best grapplers in the world. Let's see how I do. My first role is with Jamie, a brown belt who specializes in weird submissions. I lift him up and grab double underhooks. He starts going for an Ezekiel choke. He's tapped me out from here before, so I knew I had to be careful. He's too focused on the choke to base, so I sweep him over, hitting the cameraman in the process. He starts turning away from me, so I start looking to take his back. But all of a sudden, he tries flipping me over with a headlock. I keep my weight back. He acts like he's gonna do something with a headlock, but then he just rolls away. Bye, have a great time! I keep pressuring into him, but of course, the weird submissions aren't over. He reaches around and grabs his own foot for a weird guggle plata attempt. My man was really trying to choke me with this, but I counter by entering into a leg lock. Why would you ignore 50% of the human body? Then we get into a leg lock shootout. Eventually, I say no more leg locks and stand back up. I step inside, smash down, and grab a body lock. Usually, this would be a good position, but not against Jamie. He throws his arm over for an Ezekiel choke. I try rolling out, but it's too tight, and I have to tap. There is still some time left for me to get him back, so I grab an underhook and threaten a guillotine. I push down on his head and start going for an armbar. I throw my legs up, then put my shin behind his head to roll him through. But he keeps his weight back, so I come up instead. I try using an X-break to break his grip, but we run out of time. So that was my role with the brown belt. Let's see how I do against Johnny Grippo, a black belt and three-time world champion. I knew his legs were super hard to pass, so I sit back for a leg lock. I threaten a heel hook, but I can see he's unfazed, so I bring the leg across instead. I notice his back is open, so I grab onto his hips. I've been in this position before Johnny, and I know he wants to reach back and guillotine me when I try taking his back so I had to be careful. I push his leg out, and as he tries guillotine me, I shoot my head up and cut the corner to start taking his back. I might be able to actually take his back here, but he starts getting his back to the mat. I see he's about to escape, so I try coming up for the pin, but he's able to get his legs inside and immediately invert under me. I'm worried about the leg lock here, but Gianni notices my hips are wide open and comes up for the pass. He may technically be past my legs, but since I have my frames in, I still have a chance to recover. I shrimp out and bring my knees inside to retain my guard. At this point, Johnny says no more Mr. Nice Guy, and as I elevate him, he goes for a guillotine. I'm too focused on defending the choke, and he's able to pass me the mount. This is a pretty bad spot to be in. He tries walking my arm up to go for an arm triangle, but I bring my feet in, buck my hips up, and shake my legs to escape. I grab a shoulder crunch, then switch to single leg X. He forces me to reap. I try coming on top, but he snags my neck and goes for a guillotine. Immediately, I block his elbow. To finish the guillotine, he wants to bring his elbow up, but my arm is stopping him. This, combined with me being posted up on my head, makes it hard to finish. So he switches to the shoulder crunch instead. He cuts an angle, brings his leg over, and gets the tap with a straight armbar. I did another roll with Johnny later, but first, I rolled with Jordan, a black belt who outweighs me. He has some tough pressure passing, but here's how I was able to defend it. I tried going for a guillotine on him but I end up in a pretty compromised position. But luckily, I have a knee elbow frame. This frame is really powerful. Even though he's to the side of me, this frame stops him from closing the distance. From here, I bring my knee through to get him back in front of me. But he smashes my knee down and goes right back on the offensive. He comes around and once again, I'm in danger of getting past. But this knee elbow frame is what saves me. From here, my goal is to square up with him and if I can, I wanna bring my foot in front of him as a frame. To do this, I bring my shin up. This lifts up his shoulders and allows me to get my other knee inside. Then I keep turning and get my foot in front of him to retain my guard. Now it's time for my rematch with Gianni. And after that, I'll be rolling with three-time world champion, Paul Miao. I enter into single leg X. He forces me to reap. So I take his leg across and start looking for a heel hook. He turns, so I take the opportunity to start looking for his back. He tries sitting out. But I pummel my leg free and come up into leg drag. I think I'm in a good spot, but all of a sudden, he grabs a Kimura and starts bringing my hand behind my back so I roll. He comes up and sits through to take my back. Clearly, Johnny is looking for that highlight reel, because he starts going for a buggy choke from the back. It's tight, but I feel like I just have enough room to breathe. I fight his hands and he decides to give up on the choke. I start turning out and I feel like I'm about to have an easy escape, but I realize I fell right into his trap as he starts going for a guillotine. Whenever I get guillotined, I like to post up on my head. 
This makes it harder for them to curl my head down for the finish. He switches to an arm out guillotine so I block his arm, but he uses this to get a shoulder crunch. This time I bring my head over his head. This makes it harder for him to extend me out for the finish. But of course Johnny has a counter to this. He grabs my lat and starts looking for my back. To stop him, I grab a wizard. You might be wondering why it looks like I'm bugging out right now. Well, it's because my ear got completely waterlogged in that guillotine choke. I think I've stopped him from taking my back, but all of a sudden he shoots up a triangle. He locks it up and starts trying to get my arm across. He goes reverse triangle and starts looking for the Kimura. For some reason, I fall on my back and realize this isn't a good spot, so I roll through. I tried doing a calf slicer, but that is not going to work here. And I get tapped by a straight arm bar. My rolls with Johnny usually give me a feeling of deja vu. You're going through the same positions over and over again, and you're seeing what adjustments you can make. Once again, he takes my back with a Kimura. Goes for the buggy choke again. I defend that, but he does a guillotine. But this time, he covers my arm with his leg, so I can't block his elbow, and I end up getting tapped. He's always a good roll that I learn a lot from, but now it's time for me to roll with Paulo Miao, a Jiu Jitsu world champion. I slide into single leg X, and as you can see here, I'm trying to kick him forward to get his hands on the mat. I'm hoping I'd be able to get the sweep here because a leg lock is out of the question. I switch to reverse X guard, and Paulo hits me with his signature move, the Baron Bolo. He starts trying to get his knee inside so he can get into leg drag. I push his knee away, and from here, I'm trying to get my hips higher than his so I can turn into him. But his control is so tight that as I try to turn, he's able to follow me. He gets a hook in and I quickly go turtle mode to defend. I come up to my knees and do a sad Granby roll and end up in side control. He steps over my legs and starts looking to transition to mount. He wraps up my legs in Khabib fashion. He postures up and I'm just thinking if this was MMA, this would really suck right now. But it's not, so I start shrimping out. I'm able to bring my knees to my chest that bring my knee up to escape. I grab a 2 on 1 and elevate him. Tries high stepping, but I'm able to catch his ankle. I try going to single leg X, but as I do, he jumps on a dart choke. He rolls through. But luckily, I'm able to get my knee inside and leg in front of him to avoid it. I come up and I see an opening to lock up double unders. I try using it to stand up, but he pressures me back down. I start entering into single leg X again, but he counters by pressuring his weight down. Then from here, he hits a quick leg pummel and goes knee on belly. This is not great. He comes around to north-south, then pulls my arm up to lock up a Kimura. He throws his leg over and switches to the Brado Plata. I bring my head down to defend. But he comes up and rolls through to get the tap with the Brado Plata. A submission he's been working a lot and made a whole instructional on. Now I have to try passing his guard. I step on his ankle and pummel my knee to knee on belly but he has some crazy flexibility, so he's able to throw his leg around. I free myself from his legs and start going around, but he's able to defend. I start pressuring in. I reach over his back, but he reaches around, comes up, and cuts the corner to start taking my back. And shortly after, the roll ends. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and click the link down below to be sent a free technique every week.